In this video, we're going to look at surface representation and how we view a surface and, and what we see in the main point of a surface. So I've got a surface built here that I used in the previous video. And looking at it, I can tell there are a bunch of contours. A surface is made of contours, it's displayed by contours, it's represented by contours. And the contours tell you all the information that you need to know. However, there's a few things we can do to view these contours in a different manner. So there's a few ways of changing a surface style or even changing the style applied to a surface. We can do it through tool space, right click on the surface name, surface properties. Under the information tab, I can select any of these surfaces that I have in this drawing. And we can increase the contour interval. So if I go to 0.5 and 0.1 and add in more contours, and it looks like I have points turned on in this style, so I'll just turn those off. So we can view a surface as a tighter grid of contours. It gives us a lot more definition and we can see where the breaks in the land are. I can select my surface right-click surface properties and change it to, we'll go back to one and point two. A little less detail, but all the information is still there. Now keep in mind, we're not actually removing any information from the surface itself. All the data is still there. We're just changing the display of it. And on larger surfaces, if you're showing hundreds of square kilometers, the less contours you have, the faster your drawing will perform. And just simply displaying less will make that difference. Another way we can change the surface style is through our properties tab. So if we select the surface, we can change it to five and one. And it looks like points are on in this surface style as well. Arguably, this through properties is the fastest way because we can just click the drop down arrow and scroll through them even. And it looks like it only scrolls through some of them. So we can change contour, the contour display style as quick and easy as that. Now, when we hover over contours, well, before we hover over contours, you guys looking at the surface, you have no information about it. You don't know what elevation they're at. You don't know where it's located. You don't have any vertical information. If we hover over a surface, it will tell us in a little pop-up window here that we have a surface elevation of 1177.9. But if I zoom right in, this will be 1178. This contour is 1178. We can hover over this contour and it will be 1177.5. So these are half meter majors. But that's quite tedious to have to do that. So unless we put any surface labels on here, contour labels or even spot elevation labels, this information is fairly useless to us. So under the surface dropdown, I'm going to add a surface label and I want contour single. We'll see what contour single does. It says select the contour line and notice I have my O snaps off because if you turn on O snaps in Civil 3D, it tries to snap to everything. And when we have such a detailed surface like this, especially if it's a much larger surface, it's going to lag your Civil 3D out as it tries to snap to every single piece. So this command will label single contours, but who wants to go through and label every single contour on their surface? So there's another command, contours multiple. So under surfaces, add surface labels, contours multiple. And I'm gonna, going to sketch across the surface and it's given us a mess. However, if we go to the properties, just plain old properties, and I'll just dock that, we can display minor contours false. So we don't need to display the minors unless they're far enough apart. So up here, it might be good to display some minors, but we can just run another contour label that way. A third option, and we're gonna do it under the general add labels dialog box. We want surface. We want contours multiple at interval. I don't want any minor contours and no user contours. I only wanna display majors. So I'm gonna add and I'm gonna pick a point. I'm gonna sketch my line across the surface and then Civil 3D asks me the interval. So this will create an additional label say every 50 meters, every 100 meters, every 200 meters along your contour. 
I'm going to type 10 because I don't actually know how wide the surface is. And hit enter. And apparently we are going to get a ton of labels. So I will give this a minute or two to generate. All right, it's completed and it looks like it's done an okay job where it's flat. However, when we come to the slopes of this, it's not looking too good. There is a ton of labels here. So this command created 1,636 contour labels. So again, just be very careful with it. If you do a contour multiple at interval, when I'm running contour labels, I actually like to control where they go. So I, I won't display minors. I just like contour multiple. I'm gonna sketch say across, across the surface here, I'll probably hit that. And then I might not help. I might run a set of contours labels up the side and we can easily adjust them by grabbing the grip and dragging it as needed. Now these labels are dynamic. So if I change my surface style and I go to one and point two, and we'll do a regen, it's updated the contour label. So it only displays the major contour. So it's read off my style and is only displaying those majors. A last, Another label we could use is say a spot elevation. If we need to know, I, I have three decimals and one decimals, I'm gonna add these in. Now, wherever I click, it's going to throw a spot elevation. And again, these are also dynamic. So if my surface updates, if I move my surface or adjust my surface, these labels will update as well. And if you need a high level of detail, there's spot elevations on a grid. So I'll click add, it asks for the grid base point. It asks for the rotation, we'll just do zero. Grid spacing, let's do a 10 by 10 meter grid. Oh, we have to do it the opposite direction. So grid base point down here, zero, oop, not five. Base point down here, rotation 10, 10, and an upper right. And if we hit enter, it will place the grid of points based on that 10 meter by 10 meter parameter. So we have 74 points here, gives us quite a bit of information about the surface. However, they are not specifically on those major or minor contours. Another thing that these contours can give us is if we need to extract them under the surfaces dropdown, utilities extract objects from surface, we can pull out the major and minor contours as polylines. So if I hover over some of these now, I'm trying to grab everything but the surface and it's a little difficult to do. Okay, I won't be able to grab those last two, but I have a bunch of polylines here. So these are just all surface, just polylines, plain old polylines with a 3D elevation. So Civil 3D has seen them and it's applied in elevation. However, one thing you have to keep in mind when you extract these contours from a surface is it takes on any exaggeration you have applied. Now, what I mean by that is if I do an object viewer, we see the surface is quite tall, quite steep, and this is not what is an accurate representation. So if I go into my surface style and under my triangles, I'm going to select use surface elevations and my contours as well. Under the 3D geometry, use surface elevations. So now when I object viewer this, this is what it actually looks like. This is a, the, it's using the elevations from the surface, which are not exaggerated. So this contour being 5,890, it will be five times larger than this number. So 1178 times five, is going to be 5,890. So it's taken that exaggerated elevation. So just be careful if you're ever extracting contours, if you need to put them into a program like into your alignments or profiles or anything, you're extracting it, you need to build a surface, just be a bit careful. But that is the way we visually represent a surface. We show the contours and on drawings, we show contours. There's very little other objects within a surface that we'll show. We'll never show points. We'll never show the triangles. I mean, maybe in the office, but not on a production drawing. So that was just a surface representation. And in the next video, we're going to get into surface analysis.